What's going on everybody? I'm back with another high risk coin booster video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a 125 million dollar buy-in. And they're actually letting us bring our own quarters from previous games. We got a thousand of them. Well actually 1100 of them because they gave us an extra 100 quarters since I did that 125 million dollar buy-in. So anyhow, we're going to be putting a thousand quarters in there at one time today using that skill stop button. So I think that right there is a pretty good place to stop the moving platform. So let's go ahead and stack this thing up with quarters. So this right here is the 125,000 subscriber special video. A lot of y'all suggested to do a $125 million buy-in with a thousand quarters at once. So here we are. Today we got a $125 million buy-in and a thousand quarters. So once again, thank you all so much for 125,000 subscribers. It truly means a lot to me. You know, there was a lot of people who told me that I wouldn't ever make it past 20 subscribers, but here we are, two and a half, three years later, got 125,000. So thank you all so much. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. So anyhow, they got this thing stacked up amazingly well today. Looks like one massive tower of quarters right there in the center has a whole bunch of $5,000 chips stacked on the top of it and a whole bunch of $10,000 chips at the base of it wrapped around the tower. And they got, looks like, they got four more quarter towers in there. Those on the corners have some $10,000 chips inside of them. And they got all kinds of gold towers, $5,000 chip towers, $10,000 chip towers, and $1,000 chip towers. And I'm seeing four bounty chips in there today. So if you don't know what the bounty chips are for, each one of those is worth 500 free quarters on any game I choose. That's actually how I was able to bring 1,000 quarters on this game right here. I had two of the bounty chips saved up and I thought we should just go ahead and use them on this game. And uh, they got a bunch of those $100 buy-in chips. Those have no cash value. They're just entries into a free $100,000 buy-in giveaway. So anyhow, we only got one more handful of quarters left. There they are. So that right there is a thousand quarters at once. Well, before I release that skill stop button, leave a guess down in the comments and let me know what you think is going to happen. So I will release that skill stop button in three, two, one. Oh my goodness, what's going to happen? Come on, big push. Oh my goodness, well, all them towers seem to be moving forward pretty well. Oh yeah, we're going to get like probably 10 waves out of all those quarters. Oh my goodness, well, a bunch of them got stuck back there. Oh nice. Wow, we got that massive tower of gold to crash down back there. Holy guacamole, this is doing amazing. Oh yeah, that quarter tower's trying to go. Keep a close eye on that. Oh my goodness, this is intense. Nice, there they go. Holy moly, almost all of it got stuck against the glass. Nice, we got... Oh my goodness, nice, there it goes. Holy macaroni, that was an avalanche right there. Oh my gosh, that was insane. Oh my goodness, wow. That was an infinite waterfall right there. First the quarter tower fell down, then we got them $5,000 chip towers. That is insane. Well, that thousand quarters at once was definitely a huge success, but let's get that loot chute cleared out. Ah, right, there we go. So, matter of fact, that was the last of the quarters. Well, we got one left, actually, so let's put that in there. Oh, yeah, we're about to get a whole bunch of $5,000 chips on the right. Might get a second or a third wave. Let's see. All right, so let me go see what we've won real quick, and we'll get right back to pushing. You all are not going to believe this. Check this out. There was a red mystery bag and two of the golden dice hidden in there. 
So we'll open up that mystery bag later on. But these gold dice right here, if you don't know what these are for, we get to roll these at the end of the game, whatever they land on. The gold will multiply by those numbers. And if there's any white dice hidden in there today, those we get to roll them at the end of the game, whatever they land on. My winnings would multiply by those numbers. So anyhow, let's get right back to pushing. That last round was a massive success. Oh yeah, that was a nice push right there. Got a boatload of $5,000 chips and $10,000 chips and quarters. So we made probably, what was it like? A little over $8 million in chips on that previous round. We got like 50 ounces of gold or something. And the gold bars, they're worth whatever one ounce of gold is at the moment. I think they're worth about $1,970 an ounce right now. Well, that's what the spot price of gold was yesterday anyway. If somebody can let me know what the exact spot price of gold is down in the comments section, I would highly appreciate that. Oh yeah, jackpot baby. Nice. We got that massive tower of quarters on the left-hand side. Hoping there was some dice hidden inside of that. And... The quarters now, we probably got about, let's see, what was it, like 41, 4200 of them. So that's way more than enough quarters to get the whole machine cleared out today. So since we got all those quarters now, I think we should use that skill stop button. Stack the quarters up really, really high back there on the pusher. And try to get that massive tower $10,000 tips on the corner. I think that's our best bet for now anyway. And uh, after this bowl of quarters right here, I will open up that red mystery bag. So stay tuned for that. We'll open it up together. And leave a guess down in the comments and let me know what you think might be in that red mystery bag. I'm really, really hoping it has the $5 chip and all that stuff in there. And maybe a couple dice. That's just my guess. So let's continue stacking up that right hand side. It seems like it moves the towers on the corners a lot better whenever you stack the quarters up really high back there and the reason why the corners are so hard to win sometimes like if there's any towers built up on the corners the reason why it's so difficult to win is because the quarters are just going to take the easiest route or the path of least resistance anyway and that would either be around the tower or down those gutters i think you all can see the gutters there's one on both sides of the machine that money goes to the house I don't get a win or keep any of that money. And there might be a $50 chip in there. Sometimes we'll win a $50 chip and we get to cash it in at the end of the game and they will take everything that we've lost to them side slots and they'll put it back into the machine and they'll give us a second chance at winning it. So I'm really, really hoping there's a $50 chip hidden in there today because I think we've already lost like giving us a bunch of chips and stuff to the gutters. That tower on the right side's definitely giving us an uphill battle, that's for sure. It's being super, super stubborn. That's all right, though. We're definitely not going to give up on it, because like I said, we got about like 41, 4,200 quarters. Well, that's what we had before we started playing again. Who knows, we might have even more than that now. And we've got that quarter tower on the left, so... Might be up to like 43 or 4,400 now. That'd be really, really good. Oh yeah, well we seem to be getting tons of quarters back. That's always nice. It's always nice to see the quarters falling off the edge. That's how you know you're making progress. Come on, big money. Yeah, I think that tower on the right side, it's in a very, very tricky spot. It might take hours to get that thing to fall down. We're not going to give up today, though. We're not going to stop till we have the whole machine cleared out, that's for sure. So take a guess down in the comments and let me know how much money you think I'm going to make back today from a $125 million buy-in. This right here is definitely one of the biggest buy-ins I've ever done before. So there's a lot of money on the line, but I do these videos for you all. This was my... Thank you video for 125,000 subscribers. Thought I'd do something pretty special for you all. So, a lot of y'all suggested to do a $125 million buy-in, so that's what we went with. 
Oh yeah, just got a bunch of them $10,000 chips on the left corner. That is awesome sauce. So now, that right there was the last of our quarters. So let's go ahead and open up that red mystery bag. All right, here it is. So let's go ahead and check it out and see if there's anything good and valuable and beneficial in there. Feels pretty heavy, so let's see. What do we get? Oh my goodness. Well, there's a bunch of stuff in there. We've already got a couple of dice. Oh yeah, nice. Check this out. So we got three of the white dice. Like I said earlier, we'll get to roll these at the end of the game. What have they land on? My winnings will multiply by those numbers. And we also got a $5 chip, two $1 chips, a $50 chip, and a $10 chip. So if you don't know what this $5 chip is for, we get to cash it in. They will take all of those towers that are on the blue shelves and we'll put them into the play field somewhere. So we'll cash that in later on. And these two $1 chips right here, each one of these is worth 500 free quarters. So I have to cash both of these in that will give me an extra 1,000 quarters. That is absolutely phenomenal right there. And a lot of y'all was wondering if I could save these for a different game. Uh, no, we have to cash these in on the present game. So this right here will probably put our quarters up to about 55, 5,600 of them. So that is not bad, not bad at all. And this $50 chip right here, like I was saying earlier, we'll get to cash this in at the end of the game. They will take everything that we've lost to them side slots and they'll put it back into the play field somewhere. And lastly, this $10 chip, this right here is pretty much worth one free tower. So I get to cash this in and they'll let me spin a wheel. And the wheel has all these different types of chip values on there. For example, $1,000 chips, $10,000 chips, $5,000 chips, it goes as low as $10 chips and it goes as high as $25,000 chips. Anyway, we get to spin that wheel, whatever it lands on, that's what type of brand new tower they'll build somewhere in the play field. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and cash in the two $1 chips and that $10 chip. So let's go ahead and cash these in real quick and we'll get right back to work. Alrighty, AMD Queen Pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that uh, $10 chip and then two $1 chips. They gave us an extra thousand quarters. So we got around 5,700 quarters now. That is absolutely insane. So that's definitely way more than enough quarters to get the whole machine cleared out. And we cashed in that $10 chip and we got to spin that wheel. And today it landed on $10,000 chips. As you can see, they built like three massive towers of $10,000 chips in the play field. And that tower of $10,000 chips that was remaining on that right hand side, they just left that where it was at. So we're going to be using that skill stop button a lot more today because we definitely have a bunch of quarters. So let's keep on stacking it up. We're going to put like two, three, four hundred of them in there at once. My goal is to get a huge base of quarters behind all them towers. And that seems like it helps them move forward pretty well, so let's keep on stacking this thing up. And there's so many towers on the blue shelves today. I done went over what all they had on the blue shelves. Well, actually, I think I missed something. There's two mystery bags. There's a purple mystery bag on that right blue shelf and a brown mystery bag on the left blue shelf. It's behind those quarter towers. Y'all can probably see them. Anyway, there's multiple ways I could win all those towers that are on the blue shelves. Uh, today we got that $5 chip, so we'll get to cash that in. And they'll move all them towers that are on the blue shelves to the play field free of charge. It won't cost us anything at all. And sometimes they will have a red earbud in there, and that literally means the exact same thing as that $5 chip. We get to cash that in. They take all them towers, and they put them into the play field. But if that $5 chip or red earbud was not in there today, it would end up costing us two times the original buy-in. And I definitely don't want to pay that kind of money to get them towers off of the blue shelves. So that $5 chip is like a couple hundred million dollars saved. So that's like a total game changer right there. Oh yeah, sweet, we got that tower on the left-hand side to go. About to get that massive one right there in the center. Check that out. Oh yeah, the two towers on the right hand side just move forward tremendously. Did you see that? Oh yeah, they're all about ready to go. Let's keep on stacking this thing up. We're getting a pretty good basic orders behind them towers on the right. Oh yeah, that one right there is about ready to drop into the tray. Check that out. Oh yeah, sweet, we got it. That is absolutely exceptional. That massive tower out there in the middle, that's getting super close. 
Oh yeah, it's leaning over the edge just a tiny bit. Come on. Oh my goodness, wow, that was a massive push right there. I'd say that was at least like eight or nine hundred thousand dollars, maybe even a million dollars. My goodness, this is paying out incredibly well today. And there's actually one more way I could get some of them towers on the blue shelves. This really isn't the most effective method. But um, if there's any towers hanging over the blue shelf, which none of them are today. But if they were hanging over that blue shelf onto the pusher, if I stack the quarters up really high back there, I would have a good chance of trick shotting those towers into the play field. But again, that's not the most effective method because it would only help you get like one or two of the towers. It wouldn't help me win all them towers that are like lined up against the wall there. So, but like I've said many times, we already got that $5 chip, so don't need to worry about them towers on the sides today. We got those covered. Yeah, I'm thinking we're going to get that tower on the right hand side within the next couple of pushes, but um, we only got like one more handful of quarters left. Let's drop those in there real quick. Let's try them on the right hand side. All right, there they are. So let's grab some quarters. We'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, AMV coin pusher has returned. Let's get right back to work. So let's try to get that remaining tower of $10,000 chips to fall down. And after we get that out of there, I will cash in that $5 chip. How does that sound? So cash in that $5 chip. They will take all them towers that are on the blue shelves and put them into the play field. So stay tuned for that. More exciting gameplay coming right up. So let's continue using that skill stop button. It seems to be working really, really well. We're super, super close to getting that tower of $10,000 chips on the corner. I think we just need to put like three or four or five hundred quarters in there at once. Seems like it'll do the trick. So anyhow, I hope y'all are doing good and having a wonderful day so far. Remember, if this is your first time watching and you're enjoying the video so far, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. Would help out tremendously. So let's set a new subscriber goal for 130,000 subscribers. So let's see, let's try to get 130,000 subscribers by the end of August. So that gives y'all a month. So Let's try to get 130,000 subscribers by the end of August. Yeah, I think we can do that. Just need all the new people watching to hit that subscribe button. And also, let's try to get 3,000 likes on today's episode. 3,000 likes. Oh yeah, jackpot baby, nice. We got that massive tower to fall down. It looks like we only need to win that remaining 10 grand out of there, sweet. So if this video can get 3,000 likes within the first day of it being uploaded, tomorrow I will do a $50 million buy-in. How does that sound? But only if this video can get 3,000 likes within the first day of it being uploaded. If it does, we'll do that $50 million buy-in. And let me know if you'd want to see like a 500 quarter challenge or a one quarter challenge. Just give me some ideas down in the comments and I'll try my best to make it happen. So let's get that remaining $10,000 out of there, and after that we'll cash in the $5 chip. Don't think there's much use in using that skill stop button anymore. Well, not on this round anyway, because we done got the tower to fall. Now we just need to win that last 10 grand. Come on, big push. Well, it's super, super close, that's for sure. Oh yeah, it's almost there. We just need a good push on that right side. Nice, we got it, got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely phenomenal right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cash in the $5 chip real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, AMV coin pusher has returned. Let's get right back to work. So I cashed in that $5 chip. They took all them towers that was on the blue shelves. They put them all into the play field. Looks like they combined most of the towers into like one enormous tower back there on the moving platform and they put two massive towers of thousand dollar chips on the play field those towers seem like they're in pretty scary spots and they put the two mystery bags on top of those so we might end up losing those mystery bags and a couple of the thousand dollar chips 
to the blue shelves. If we do end up losing stuff to the blue shelves, it would only cost us a hundred grand to get it back, so I'm not really worried about it. And if we did lose those mystery bags, I would definitely be paying that hundred grand to get it back. So, but anyhow, let's stay positive. Let's just hope these towers fall down into the tray. Hoping we don't lose anything to the blue shelves. And after we win all these remaining towers and stuff out of there, I will cash in that fifty dollar chip. And they'll take everything that we've lost to them side slots and they'll put it all back into the play field. So it looks like that massive tower of chips and gold back there on the pusher is getting really, really close. So let's just stack this thing up with quarters, shouldn't we? Let's go ahead and stack this thing up. Alright, so that was like probably 100 quarters at once right there. So now let's keep on stacking it up. Trying to put like at least three or 400 of them. In there, try to build a pretty good base of quarters behind all them towers. Yeah, the way them towers, a thousand dollar chips on the corners look, I think they're going to slide backwards once they get so close to the edge. That's just my guess, anyway. But like I said, I hope we don't end up losing something to the blue shelf. That would not be good. Come on, big money. Well, that tower on the pusher, it's going. And bunch of quarters got stuck back there they're trying to fall down they just got stuck underneath that glass back there oh yeah towers about ready to go come on big money oh yeah jackpot baby nice wow that was a boatload of ten thousand dollar chips thousand dollar chips one ounce skull bars like, look at that. We're making a fortune today. Making out like a bandit, that's for sure. This is doing exceptional. And if you're wondering what I do with all that gold that I win, I normally just save all that gold. I keep it in a safety deposit box because I've heard the gold bars are going to go way up in value over the next couple of years. Like I said, I think they're about like $1,970 an ounce right now. Oh, nice. Well, that's a huge relief right there because that missed your bag. It landed behind that tower. Luckily, it didn't fall over on the blue shell. So now we need to get that mister bag on the right-hand side to fall into the play field. Oh, yeah. Three ounces of gold. About ready to go. Come on. Nice. There it goes, and that tower fell backwards. So that tower landed in a pretty good spot. That mister bag landed in a good spot also. Nice. That was a massive push right there. Oh my goodness, you know something I just now realized? We haven't got that loot chute cleared out at all this round, so let's get it cleared out. Alright, there we go. It's not good to let that loot chute get too full, because a lot of times money will start to fall back to the house if the loot chute gets too full. It will go to the exact same place as those gutters on the sides go to, so why it's best to keep that loot chute flared out at all times and I think there's like a little opening area up above the loot chute and if that loot chute gets too full once it gets to a certain point chips are just going to start falling back inside the machine oh nice I think we just got that purple mystery bag wow that is absolutely remarkable right there so I will open up that mystery bag after we win these remaining chips and towers out of there. And that brown mystery bag on the right, it's getting pretty close to the edge also. And luckily we haven't lost anything to the side table so far, so that's pretty good. Hoping we can get that tower on the left to fall backwards. That'd be pretty nice. I hope it falls backwards, or I hope it falls down in the loose chute. Whenever it falls down. Well, that mystery bag, it's right there on the edge. Take a guess down in the comments and let me know what you think might be in both of them mystery bags. Oh, nice. There it goes. We got that mystery bag. Sweet. Well, this has definitely been an excellent game today so far. So, I'm thinking we're going to make that $125 million back. I mean... It's a very, very intense game with that much money on the line, but like I've said many times before, I do this for you all, and I try to make these videos as entertaining as possible. And I know a lot of y'all like to see the big buy-ins, and this was my thank you video for 125,000 subscribers. 
Uh, so that right there was the last of our quarters. So let's go grab some quarters and we'll try to get that remaining tower to fall down. I'll be right back. Alrighty, Andy Coinbusher has returned. Let's get right back to work. So as I was down there collecting the quarters, the staff come over here to me and they told me that they forgot to put those $100 chips and those bounty chips in there. Whenever they took all them towers off the blue shelf and put them into the play field whenever I cashed in that $5 chip. So they made things right. They put all those bounty chips and those $100 chips back into the play field. Yeah, I was down there collecting the quarters and separating all those chips and stuff. And I realized that we had not won any of the bounty chips. And we've only won like one of those $100 chips today. And I knew there was a lot more than just one of them in there. So... They made things right, so anyhow, let's get right back to pushing. We're about to get that bounty chip on the right-hand side. Nice, we got it. So, like I said, those bounty chips are worth 500 three quarters on any game I choose. So, I think we should be using that skill stop technique to try to get that tower on the left-hand side. And also, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I readjusted the camera for you all. Made it a little bit better for you all. So let me know if that camera works out good all right so let's keep on stacking this thing up let's put like two or three four hundred quarters in there at once i'm trying to play more toward the left hand side because that's where the tower is oh yeah nice there's only one more bounty chip left in there to win i think we'll get that here in just a moment come on big push well that tower thousand dollar chips is being a little bit stubborn I think we just need a basic quarters behind it, and then it should start moving forward. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, we got that bounty chip, and I just seen that tower move forward just a tiny bit right there. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, tower just moved forward by maybe a centimeter or so. And it's a little bit of progress, but a little bit of progress is better than none at all. So let's keep it going. And I might try like one more round after this, and if it doesn't get that tower, I will go ahead and cash in that uh, $50 chip. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, I'm hoping their loot box is loaded up with stuff that other people have lost. To the side slots today. I mean, pretty much what it all boils down to is who last won that $50 chip. Because if the person that played here before me had won that $50 chip, then there's not going to be any bonus money down in their loot box. It will just be the stuff that I lost and the stuff that I lost only. But say nobody has won that $50 chip today, then it might be loaded up with stuff that other people have lost. I sure do hope so, anyway. It'd be nice to see a couple extra dice, $25,000 chips. It'd be really, really sweet. Now you can make a lot of extra money off them bonus rounds. Maybe you cash in that $50 chip and stuff. Yeah, there could be bonus dice, bonus gold, anything in there. Oh yeah, well that, the top of the tower fell down and a bunch of $1,000 chips landed behind that great big old tower. We're about to get that tower $1,000 chips. It's like hanging over the edge like maybe halfway or so. So I don't think it's going to take much more to get that off of there. Oh yeah, just made like two or $3,000 right there. Not bad, not bad at all. We're continuing to win a bunch of quarters back also. I mean, the only problem with the skill stop technique, it uses up a bunch of your quarters. I mean, after you win all those towers out of there, you could play like normal again, like put like two, three, four dollars in there at once and just try to get all those quarters back that you stacked up back there. Like, kind of like how I'm doing it right now. Oh yeah, well that tower's almost there. It's leaning over the edge like tremendously. Come on, big push. All right, well that right there was the last of the quarters. If that don't do it, we're going to have to get some more quarters. All right, let's collect some quarters. We'll get right back to work. Alrighty, Envy Coin Pusher has returned. Let's get right back to work. So after we knock down that tower of $1,000 chips, I will open up both of those mystery bags that we've won. 
so stay tuned for that. More exciting gameplay coming right up. And I'm hoping that bonus game is loaded up pretty good. I'm hoping they build like a massive tower back there on the pusher. That'd be really, really nice. So I know it looks like I win all the time. That's because I only upload the winning videos. I never really post the losing games. I mean, I've tried posting the losing videos in the past, and y'all didn't seem to like those videos too well. And I try to keep this channel as positive as possible. That's why I just stick to posting the winning games only. And anyhow, I probably win one out of every three or four games that I play. So I definitely don't make as much money as it seems. I know it seems like I'm making like three or four or five hundred million dollars profit every single day, but trust me, that is not the reality of the situation. I mean, because I might make like 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 million dollars profit on one of these games, but then the next game I play, I can lose every bit of that within the matter of seconds. Because like, say I did a 50 million dollar buy-in and they give me like 50 quarters, once I lose all 50 of them quarters, that's 50 million dollars lost right there. Yeah, and there's been times I've lost up to like 200 million dollars playing these games before, so... 200 million dollars has been like the maximum amount of money that I'm gonna spend on one of these. And I thought about doing a 200 million dollar buy-in one day this week. So let me know if you'd want to see that down in the comments. I mean, if we can get a pretty good profit on this game right here, then I'll consider doing that 200 million dollar buy-in. But if we lose money, then we probably won't do a 200 million dollar buy-in. And anyhow, y'all get the point. I make it look a lot easier than it actually is. Yeah, sometimes it takes like five or six buy-ins just to get it to go at all. Oh yeah, nice. Check that out. We got that tower on the left-hand side. That is absolutely miraculous right there. My goodness. I was not expecting that tower to go right then. So it looks like how many thousand dollar chips left in there? Like seven thousand dollars left in there to win. So let's get that out of there. Then I will cash in the fifty dollar chip. How does that sound? Sounds like a pretty good plan to me. Oh yeah, getting a bunch of them quarters back. Oh yeah, that was a nice push right there. Come on, big money. I got like two or three thousand dollars on that push right there. Two more to go. Let's get them. Nice, we got one of them, so that means one more to go. It's getting super, super close to the edge, also. Come on, big money. Trying to push on that left hand side, trying to play as far left as possible. See, the only problem with this machine, it's hard to play on one side and one side only because the quarters will roll over to the center or something. See, that's as far left as I could go and watch what happens. See how the quarters are like rolling over toward the center and toward the right side? So it's like, might as well just play across the whole field at all times if you just want to do that. Well, that last thousand dollars, it's getting pretty close. I don't think it's going to be too difficult to win. Come on, big money. My goodness, it's so close. We just need a good push on that left-hand side. We only got a couple quarters left in the bowl. Nice, we got it. Got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely fantastic right there. So I'm going to go ahead and open up those two mystery bags. Alrighty, I'm back. So here's those mystery bags. So let's go ahead and start with the purple one first. This one feels like it's loaded up pretty well. So let's see. Hopefully there's something good and valuable in there. Oh my goodness. Wow, check this out. There was seven white dice in there. So how many white dice does that make us in total now? Ten of them? Oh my goodness. This might be a brand new world record win today. That's a lot of dice right there. So now let's go ahead and move on to the brown mystery bag. Hopefully this one is loaded up just as good, if not better. 
let's see what we get oh yeah nice check this out so we got three ten thousand dollar chips so that's an extra 30 grand i'll take it and we got four more of the golden dice how many gold dice does that make us in total now eight of those so that is not bad not bad at all both of those mystery bags just loaded up incredibly well so I'm going to go ahead and cash in that $50 chip real quick and they'll take everything that we've lost to them side slots and they'll put it back into the play field somewhere. I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it pushing. So I cashed in that $50 chip. They took everything that was down in their loot box and they built brand new towers in the play field. Looks like there's a massive tower of $1,000 chips back there on the moving platform. There's a tower of $5,000 chips on that left corner. And ten thousand dollar chips on the right corner. They got two gold towers up front with dice on top of those. They got a grayish brown mister bag on the right hand side, and a yellow mister bag on the left hand side. Oh sweet, we got that uh, gold tower with that dice on top of it. Sweet. So I think that makes what like eleven of the dice that we've won in total. And if we can get that one on the right, oh yeah, sweet. That makes like twelve dice that we've won in total. Of the white dice to be exact. So uh, let's try to get that massive tower, thousand dollar chips back there. Looks like it's leaning backwards just a tiny bit, so might end up sliding backwards. I just hope we don't lose anything to the blue shelves. Like I said earlier, we do end up losing something to the blue shelves. It costs us a hundred grand to get it back. I'm a little bit concerned about them towers on the sides because those look like they might take a while to fall down. So after we get that tower $1,000 chips, I will focus on the towers on the left and the right hand side. And both of those mystery bags are super, super close to the edge. We'll open them up after we win them here shortly. So I'm hoping there's something really, really nice and valuable in those mystery bags. And that gray mystery bag on the right hand side you can kind of see the outline of something that looks kind of like a chip or something. So, might be loaded with $25,000 chips. That's just my guess. Don't know for sure. They don't tell me what's inside of them mystery bags. And those mystery bags, there's no way someone could lost those to the side slots. There's no way those could possibly fit down in there. Not even the small mystery bags when they got those in there. Those would not fit down the side slots. So, more than likely, they put those in there, or they, or somebody else was playing and the loot chute got too full. That's how they lost it, is because that loot chute got too full. And one other thing I've noticed today, they did not put any of the towers on the blue shelf, so we don't have to worry about winning that red earbud or $5 chip to have them move the towers on the, to the play field. So we don't have to worry about that today. Well, that tower thousand dollar chips is getting super close i think now would be a good time to go ahead and start using that skill stop button let's just stack this thing up with quarters try to get one humongous push back there try to get that tower thousand dollar chips to crash down come on big money oh my goodness there it goes nice we got it wow that is absolutely outstanding right there. Yeah, for a moment there, I was worried it was going to slide backwards. Looked like it was going to anyway. So let's get that loot chute cleared out real quick. It seems like it's getting pretty full. Oh yeah, that loot chute was getting pretty full, but glad we got that cleared out when we did. That would have been terrible to lose something because that loot chute got too full. Imagine we lost like both of them mystery bags. That would have been awful. So, I think now would be a good time to go ahead and start using that skill stop button. Oh, nice, we got that yellow mystery bag on the left. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, just got a boatload of those thousand dollar chips. I'll take those thousand dollar chips any day. And all those add up. That's for sure. So we got that yellow mystery bag, but it got stuck in the loot chute. So we needed to fall on down to the tray. I think we just need some quarters to hit it or to fall on top of it. And that should push it on down. Come on, big money. 
Oh yeah, well I just seen that tower on the right hand side move forward a bunch right there. I'm about to get that gray mister back on the right. Oh yeah, that yellow mister back is trying to go also. Come on, big money. Alright, so we only got a couple quarters left in the bowl. Let's say we got like 30, 40 of them. Let's just put those in there. Still got a bunch of quarters. I think we got like 47, 4,800 of them now. That's a little bit less than what we had around the middle of the game, but that's still a bunch of quarters, don't get me wrong. That's like way more than enough to get it all cleared out of there today. So anyhow, let's collect some quarters. We'll get right back to work. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it pushing. So let's use that skill stop technique and try to get a massive base of quarters behind these two towers on the sides. That $10,000 chip tower on the right, it is a little bit more closer than the one on the left, so I think we need to be focusing on that left-hand side because it's not good to push on one side only. It's best to even out the field, try to keep everything moving evenly and equally. So let's put a couple more quarters in there, then we'll release that skill stop. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, nice. We got that gray mister bag that was on the right-hand side. Sweet. Now we just need that yellow mister bag on the left to fall on down into the tray. And that one's like stuck in there or something. I think we just need some quarters to fall down on top of it. Come on, massive push. It looks like a bunch of our quarters got stuck back there. Well, the majority of them fell down onto the pusher, but they're still like probably three or four dollars stuck. Nice, I think we got them. Yep, there they go. So let's load up a bunch more quarters in there. Yeah, once again, thank you all so much for suggesting this technique. A lot of y'all suggested to put like a bunch of quarters in there at once. Try to get them towers on the sides and it seems to be working incredibly well. I mean, it's working out a lot better than it would if we'd only put like two, three or four dollars in there at a time. Speeding up the games by a million percent pretty much, what it feels like anyway. Because most of the times I'm playing for anywhere from three to eight hours trying to get the towers on the sides to fall down. But here lately it's only been taking us like an hour tops to get them towers to fall down. So putting a bunch of quarters in at once like this is a total game changer. Definitely works really, really well. It's one of the best techniques out there for playing the coin pressure. Oh yeah. Well, tower on the left hand side moved forward a bunch right there. Oh yeah, just moved again. That is exceptional. Alright, so that was pretty much all the quarters we have left in the bowl. So now let's start putting quarters in that we have in the basket. Let's just keep on stacking this thing up. My goodness. It's loaded up back there. You see that? It's like a whole entire base of quarters back there. And see what I'm saying? Now it's moving those towers forward every single push. Before, when we would only put like two or three or four dollars in there at a time, you might see those towers on the sides move forward like once out of every you know, 20, 30, 40 pushes, sometimes like 50 pushes. They'd move like once out of every 50 or something. But now it seems like it's moving once out of every two or three. So it's definitely the best technique right here. So let's keep on stacking it up, and believe it or not, that yellow mister bag is still stuck in there. I'm pretty sure y'all can see that. It's like stuck right below that $5,000 chip tower. Yeah, and if that doesn't fall out of there, more than likely if I call them back here, they would count that mister bag as a win since it's already like falling over the edge. So they'd probably give that to me. And sorry if I don't sound super enthusiastic right now. It's just I've been playing this game for a very, very long time. I think we've been playing close to like four hours now. Let's see what the camera says. Three hours, 46 minutes, and 24 seconds. So we've been playing a pretty good while now. Oh yeah, well I've seen that tower on the right hand side move forward tremendously right there. Did y'all see that? Might zoom in on that later on whenever I'm editing. Oh yeah, that was a boatload of quarters we just got. Alright, so let's collect some quarters. We'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. So before I continue playing, I'd like to go ahead and open up both of these mystery bags. So I 
called them back here and they counted that yellow mister bag that was stuck in there as a win. I think it was interfering with that tower that was on the left hand side. It was like keeping it from moving or something. So anyhow, I called them back here and they counted it as a win. So let's go ahead and open these up and see if there's anything good and valuable in there. Let's go ahead and start with the yellow one. I think there's a bunch of gold in this one. Yep, there it is. We got like four more ounces of gold. It's not bad, not bad at all. All right, so now let's go ahead and move on to the gray mister bag. Haven't seen a gray mister bag in there in a little while, so let's see. What do we get? Oh yeah, nice. Check this out. So we got a bunch of $10,000 chips. Let's count these up real quick. 50 grand, 100 grand, 100 grand and $10,000 chips. That is absolutely spectacular right there. So anyhow, let's get right back to pushing. So let's try to get these remaining towers of chips to fall down. I'm hoping we can get them on this round right here. That one on the right hand side is super, super close. Hoping that one falls down here in just a second. So let's put like two, three, four hundred quarters in there at once. Let's see what that does. All right, a couple more handfuls of quarters. All right, one more. All right, there we go. Let's see what it does. Come on, big push. Well, we got a bunch of quarters back in the center there. Come on, big money. right just move forward tremendously right there did you see that we need the one on the left hand side to get moving that's for sure nice we got that massive tower on the right hand side that is absolutely phenomenal right there wow that is absolutely insane so now let's try to get that tower on the left hand side that one is super super close i think we just need to load up a bunch of quarters oh my goodness so i dropped a bunch of them on the floor we'll pick them up here shortly and again it's just hard to get the quarters to go over there on the far left hand side because the quarters like to roll over to the center but i'm doing the best i can nice there it goes Holy macaroni, we got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely outstanding. This has been a magnificent game today. Absolutely magnificent. So now I'm going to call them over here. I think we've won 20 dice in total. We got uh, 12 of the white dice and 8 of the gold dice. They will put all 20 of them dice back there on the moving platform. And we got to roll them on down to that lower shelf there. Whatever they land on, we get to multiply our winnings and our gold by those numbers. So let's call them over here real quick, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it going. So I called them over here. They put all 20 of them dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on down to that lower level. Hopefully they all land on some massive numbers. Oh, yeah, we got a 6 and a 4 on the gold so far. So that's already 10 times our gold right there. And nice, that white dice originally landed on a four and it flipped over to a six. Wow, that is absolutely phenomenal. And we do got to be pretty careful today because there's a lot of dice in there. And if any of them dice fall over the edge or down those side slots, they would become duds. We would lose them. So as long as we keep them dice away from the side slots, I think we'll be all right. And we can keep on pushing to try to flip the dice over to something different. But again, we can only push so far without the dice falling over the edge or down the gutters. Like, see them two gold dice right there getting pretty close? Oh no. Well, we're going to have to be super, super cautious now. we got one more dice to roll. Let's see if that gets it. Come on. Oh, nice. We got a five. So we're definitely going to have to call it quits right there. But look at that. That two looks like it might flip over to a six. I tell you what, let's try like one or two quarters on the left hand side and see if we can't get that dice to flip and we just got to be careful about them two dice right there because if those fall over the edge we'd lose them all right let's see what that does come on flip that dice over nice i think 
think they'll count that as a six anyway and look at that it's like hanging on there I don't even know how that's still hanging on there no we don't need a second wave my goodness that is super super risky so I'm gonna count everything up multiply our winnings and our gold ball that and I'll let y'all know what we've won back from a hundred and twenty five million dollar buy-in we'll be right back you all are not going to believe how much money I've won today this is absolutely remarkable I ended up winning $10,563,000 in chips, and all of them white dice combined ended up multiplying my winnings by 46, and in total, I ended up winning $485,898,000 from a $125 million buy, and that is absolutely exceptional. That's another huge life-changing jackpot win right there. Absolutely mind-blowing. And on top of that, we ended up winning 175 ounces of gold, and all them gold dice combined totaled up to 30. And in total, I ended up winning 5,250 ounces of gold today. And those are around $1,975 a piece. And last but not least, we ended up winning six of the $100 buy-in chips, so that's six entries into the free $100,000 buy-in giveaway. And last but not least, we ended up winning four of the bounty chips. So each one of those is worth 500 free quarters on any game I choose. So that's not bad, not bad at all for a $125 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, be sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. So I will see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care and have a wonderful day.